Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and welcome back to Keep Our Cal where we play our whole collection of 600 plus 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 infinite games and decide whether to keep or cull them. That is true and we are finally back in the studio. There's been a couple of videos the last weeks and some of you so, for example, like we didn't have our rings, which meant that yeah. there were one person mm -hmm. like, wait, where are your rings? It's like, we filmed it we quite a while ago. No, no, we did not. We're still so, mad. Yeah. we are back. It's been great to come back and play some games. Most of these we actually played for a little while ago during the summer when we did not film any videos. But we have more reviews coming now, lots of games. Uh, we have a review for Carnegie, we have a first impression for True Divine Legends, a new yeah. Simon co-op game. And then also we are going to get a, a very early copy of Revive from a Porta Games. I'm so um, happy. Brother just did a video, so he really liked it, that. so we cannot wait to play that's that so one. Cool. So yeah, that's just like a little bit of hello, we're back again. Yeah, stuff happening. Hello! Yeah, it's, it's awesome to be playing games again, yeah. like we, it's been... We've been playing games over almost, almost every weekend, no, evening, almost every weekend, the last two weekends, no, almost every evening. We have seven games today. Yeah. Let's just get to it. Yes. Yes, that's the thing you haven't heard in a while. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Over Let's here. get the boom. Boom, boom, boom and the boom, calling boom. and the keeping. Yes, this is Le Havre, the inland port. It's the two player versions of Le Havre. Are you ready? Yeah, I it's am. It's Rosenberg. We usually like him. Let's go. Yep. One, two, three, boom! This was so boring. Yes. Like, um, I, I, I understand why you you want to do a two-player version of Lahar because the game Lahar is super cool. And very good and, with and two very, players. Very good. That's true. Uh, but but I see like because it has like a core mechanism which mm -hmm. the, is that the the resource that nobody takes gets like filled up yep. and um, that escalates towards the end of the game mm -hmm. like. In the start, you're scraping by just to get that one fish and that one clay or something, it's stuff. And then you get more and more and you'd be like, oh, I have all this stuff now. Uh, but this was that just not fun. That's true. I don't like... Uber Rosenberg still is not like a never get rid of and especially not this like we just got very recently to play it. And now we played it and it was not fun. Yeah, so side is over here. to the call side. Next up, we have a newer game. This was a game, and there will be others on this video as well, that we were actually thinking of doing content for. So mm. we decided basically that it's better to do like mini, mini, mini talking about them on Keep or Kill and not do anything at all. Yeah, because we we're just like looking at our watch and be like, oh, Spiel is soon yeah here. there was still like we have what? a pile of games upstairs yeah. already so some of these that we were supposed to do like before the summer will be in this video and might be in other keeper curl videos yeah so monsters on board dice yeah. drafting monster puzzle game are you ready yeah one two three boom oh this oh, was fun you did yeah. keep yeah, yeah. I, don't, I was thinking you're gonna decode because it's a newer game and it's simpler to get rid of yeah but like this is one of the newer games that we played lately that you, it's so easy to get into yeah it's very simple game it's, it's some tracks and just like a little combo stuff mm -hmm. i love how uh, it's a dice drafting game and the components are super cool and i love the theme it's yes. just like make the spook juice and yeah it's just like so make a party for so this. nice it's so cozy so uh you draft dice and both the colors and the symbols are meaningful mm -hmm. and you the colors that you take dictate which monsters you will move and you want to like do it in a kind of way that moves them a lot and gets them to be at the spaces that you get bonuses for that is true yeah i enjoy this quite a bit uh i'm it is like very multiplayer solitaire, so oh, yeah. there's really no reason to play it with more than two. Very easy uh, to cheat or one if you enjoy or make solo mistakes. games. Yeah, the rule book when I read it, I was I was sitting down to read the rule book and I was open it up and I was done in like two seconds. Like, oh, is that uh, the game? Yeah, that sounded super boring. So if you read the rule book and this, I think it's gonna be boring. It's if you like combo games and a medium style game, there's some luck in here. Yeah. It's not too much and the game is pretty short. Mm. So it's a nice game, one that I would like to play more. We had the expansion, didn't 
love what I read in the rule book there, but the game, the base game is enough for now. Yeah. So one that I don't know is going to stay in the collection forever. Oh yeah, I But agree. one that I enjoy for now, so it's going to stay. I agree with you. Next up we have Transmissions with the cutest robots. Okay, yeah. That's true, the yeah. cute, more cute than other robots in other games. Yes. Also a new game from Kickstarter. So let's go. One, two, three, boom. Uh, didn't like this one too much. No. Um, it's a card playing game. So you have a hand of a card that like dictates what kind of robots you can move. Yeah. And the robots move in this, yeah. It's a basically board. a rundown. Yeah, and everyone can move the robots and which base they stand on dictates what actions you can do with mm -hmm. the robots. And you basically collect resources, get some... Um, advancements or special abilities for the robots and use the resources to buy sets for points ish yeah um didn't it didn't engage me that much this is not a bad game like this is a uh, i would say if you are more into lighter games mm. a family style it's more a family style game anyways yeah i think it's a fine game for that um, it's I, I, some people will then say oh you don't like lay light games but you know we do like a lot no, of light games do. But, but we maybe don't like the same light games that other people like. Yeah. Uh, and I enjoy the concept of the like common uh, rondelle with the robots. That everybody has the same rondelle. Yeah. And you like hope to somebody else won't move the same robot that you want to move. Yeah. To be able to do the actions that you want to do. So I enjoy many of the concepts. But I also thought it was not very engaging for me and yeah. didn't make me be like oh this is very interesting but it has very very cute the robots. components are amazing yeah next up we have another another box it's a bo another box it's a big box <laughs> that's what i was going to try to say but it's not another it's the first big box yes this was also was it from this year or the end of last year i mm. think maybe it was the beginning of this year mm. uh it says 2021 on bgg but okay. i don't remember if we got it probably early this year um, it's all a blur. Yeah, this is another one that we wanted to do content for, mm. but then time just didn't make that happen. So now it's here and we get to talk a tiny little bit about it, so you know we have played it. So then when we do like a top 10 list at the end of the year, you will know more of the games we actually played. Yes. So are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. This was fun. Yes. I, I like it. It's um, not always I like these city builders, but most importantly, these um, like different prices thingy. Yeah. Um, oh, it's so hard for my brain to get that concept. Because you don't like things that aren't solid. No. That's one of the reasons you don't like shares yes. in games. Because I you're don't like, know you don't what like auctions. things are worth. You don't know like, how oh, much am I going to no. give for this? Because you don't know the worth. And it's weird because I usually don't like calculate what points are going to get. You just do that internally, I think. Yeah, I, I think so. But in you this are a game, human calculator. Ah, but this game... It's. I felt like it was very thematic. Mm -hmm. um, you basically buy uh, plots of land. Properties. Properties. And then you build buildings mm -hmm. and you get like tenants and you get them to pay you. Uh, well, you try to get them to pay you. Yeah. Uh, and then you um, kind of have to be a little aware of um, when to sell your plots and or mm. when to buy new things because at the end of the game ends when there is a big crash the market so, is crashing down. Yeah, so you can potentially lose a lot of money if you don't like read the uh, Situation correctly. So I felt like it was fun because it was thematic mm -hmm. and my head like I got the concept Yeah, yeah so I, 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 I think remember, thought it was fun. Yeah, I remember having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, there is some luck element in it. Yeah. With some dice rolling that you have yeah. to die a roll to uh, get you have tenants. To die. Uh, you have to roll die to die. <laughs> Uh, but and sometimes you can be very unlucky yeah. and you will get nothing even though you set yourself up for getting a lot of stuff that's kind of annoying and i think i usually don't like but um, there is possibilities to mitigate it in this game which oh, yeah. i really enjoyed and i enjoy most of the concepts in the game uh, you need to play if you have this game and you bought it and you did not buy the kickstarter check out the first player auction that is in the kickstarter because that's the only way to play uh, the designer even said like I never like it was so surprising that everybody after the fact said we want to play with this version yeah. which is the only way to play there is a version in the rulebook which makes the game horrible so Magnate uh, is a pretty decent game and again it's a big box I don't know if it will last forever in the collection no. but it's here for now and yes. what I want to keep oh, next up we have 
like a game that people have been talking about forever They, and ever. You can say they've been obsessed yeah. by it. <laughs> Absolutely. It's This a joke nobody has obsession. said before. It's a new joke. I wrote it. I wrote it today. Yes. Ten years ago. No. This also is another one we wanted to do some content on because yeah. a lot of people we have like all the expansions, everything. Oh, yeah. Haven't played with any of the expansions. Have played this a few times. So let's do the keep on cold thing. Yeah. Like the paddle. What paddle? This one, you have a blue one, This I have a red. This paddle? Yeah, and you choose the side okay, that you yeah, want to show to the audience. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom! Yay! I like obsession. You are the keeper of things today. Yeah, but but the, when there's good games... That's true. It calls for some keep. Yeah. Ink. And somebody in the comments were like, Oh, you always keep everything. Um, and we are, we are kind of... It will probably be more going as well, but we are... Getting, we have many very good games left. Oh yeah! So like this series, hopefully, will be good as a mini review series, and we will be playing many good games. But I know, like in this shelf over here, there's still games that probably will get killed. Oh, so yeah. then we will try to to balance it out, so you don't only get like a kill video and a keep video. That was to you, person who wrote that in comments. Now obsession. Yes. You talk. Yeah. Both game. Um, I, I think obsession is cool. Cool. I like, Next up, no. Okay. I, I like uh, that you have um, uh, these different buildings, mm. and you can buy new buildings that gives you special things to do. I think that is cool that you decide what to focus on and what to for not focus on. But it's a little like luck based. Sometimes yeah. you're waiting for a building, it doesn't appear. That's fine. You have to do something else. You can't force a building to disappear. It's not how the game works. But I also like that you have these. What do you call them? The, the. I don't know because I don't know what the you're meeples about. with the with the rolls. So they have special things they special can like. Special abilities. And if special... I want to go go there, I have to have these people. Yeah. And I have to also can play be able to play these cards from yeah. my hand. Um. Yeah. I just think it's it's an overall nice game. I want. I'm super stoked to play it with the expansions yes. for this game. Those seem very fun as well. It is a very thematic game. So uh, and I'm not like oh I'm a huge fan of this theme. I, I don't care about the theme, but I think it's a fun theme. Like it's not like oh I don't care about it, but I oh, don't. Oh, I love the theme where the ladies get married off to ah, the people. And, to yeah. the people! Yay. To the people! But the thing is that it's more. It's very thematic. Everything you do, it's like oh you send these people off to do very strange activities, and that's kind of like it's it's called like doing activities. That is the thing you do in the game. You don't do actions. You don't, you, you do activities. And then they're like yeah, it and is I'm, activities. It is like go horse riding or yeah. drink tea and stuff like that. Yeah, which you do Throw in England. Throw yes. a ball around in the afternoon orange. tea. Yes. yes, with Johnny. Uh, so this is a fun game. When I want to play all the expansions, we have all of them. If you like the game, let us know what expansion is the best. Yeah, and that's this game. We have two more games. One is on my side, which is the next one, and then there's one on your side, which is the last one. This is a game you probably saw it in the thumbnail, and this is one that is a big game that people really like. Mm, yeah. I think I had this on my top 10 overrated games. Oh yeah, I think you're true. Yes. I, will, I didn't agree. No, you didn't. And because I didn't love this when it came out, we played it quite a few times. I played it probably five, six times when it came out, which is a lot to be us. Yeah. But we haven't played it now in many years. Yeah. We brought it to some friends of us and we played it. That's kind of like, it's a very interesting story you have there, Johannes. Did you bring the game and then you didn't play it? No, we actually played it. Are you ready? Yes. Did I like Scythe this time or did I still not like it? You will yeah. find out in three, two, one, boom. Oh. Oh, you've chosen keep. That's cool. Haha. -ha. I'm the dark side. Well, um, I've always wondered why you haven't liked Scythe. Or, well, in my opinion, you're just like, oh, everybody loves Scythe. What is the deal about Scythe? What is Scythe? Yeah. They don't hurt me. I don't get why people are obsessed with Scythe. No, no, um, obsessed. That's yeah, this game. Yeah, obsessed. yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. But, like, it was a. Like the hotness for a very long time, people yes. were like, "Oh, this is the best game ever." And I even have a song that I wrote about Scythe. It's on the song "Wrecking Ball." So if you want to hear the song, let us know, and maybe you can hear the song. <laughs> well, it's still pretty okay. I I, I sing it from time to time to, to myself, yeah, and it's yeah. still not too bad. It's, it's, Quite good, uh, but uh, I have always liked Sight. I've yes. always enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. I thought it was really fun playing it again, 
although I don't see when we will play it ever. Um, and I just like, I will not miss it in my collection anymore. You know what? Yeah, but that is a valid argument. Yes, I know. Um, I'm just doing like the, the, the thing you see in some, some, some TV shows, like the people looking at the audience, mm, be like... Mm, 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 mm. With Jim in the office. I don't well, know. Yeah, uh, so while it hasn't fallen for me at all, it was exactly how fun that I remember it to mm, be. Mm. Uh, like maybe a tad even funner. Yeah. I, I thought it was a, a, a very fun time. I was just like, nah. I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, it's... Happy it's, with not yeah, playing it again? Yeah. Okay, two things for me. First off, I enjoyed it quite a bit more than I remembered I did. Yeah, the, even though because I... Because you had, like, yeah. Even though I, it, it. I lost horribly, I don't think I got any points. Like, well, maybe... You got so few points. Maybe two points in the whole game. I, I did nothing. I like, yeah. nothing. <laughs> I didn't do a single thing in the game. And I still had fun. And then there is this... Thing called the Rise of Fenris, which is like a legacy campaign for the game, oh. which I heard is yeah, very, cool. very good. Oh. So I might be intrigued to, to be thinking of playing that, even yeah. though we will never be able to do that. Yeah, I, I um, think that's a wonderful the, idea. All the reason yeah. is that if we ever want it back, we can't get this version. Oh, that is true. That this is, is beautiful the components. Kickstarter oh version with all of the amazing components, all the upgrades, the big map, yeah. and all of that. Yeah. So that's kind of like the two things. Oh, yeah. And also, I was before we played it, I it was hard for me to, to call it because of all of the awesome things in yeah. the game. And then you and liked it, it. And I liked it, so it's, it ended up being a keep for me because Well, I'm not sad to keep it at all. No. We can we can keep it and like we don't have any other um, like campaign games um, that we need to, to play. play. No, so no. it's it's perfect. Let's like buy that expansion. Yeah. Last of game course. of the day. Oh, it's, it's so heavy. another game from this year. That we wanted to do a review on, but it's a longer, heavier game, and then it ended up on the backlog, and we didn't get to play it enough to do a review for it. We probably could have done like a rambling review, but then it's been quite a while since we played it, and now we have like this huge pile of yeah. games that we need to play. I already said that like two times already in this video. The, so just let's, title this game like video like just thing. bad conscience for Are you ready not for the playing panel the thing? games. Panel yeah, thing? I'm I'm ready. This is legacies, by the way. Le yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one, boom. Yeah, this was meh. Yeah. It's a fantastic game. Nah, it's fine. It is very good. Yeah, it's fine. It's very good. What it about it is very good. It's half a year since we played the game, so now you're like putting me just out on the limb to be haha -ha on me. <laughs> uh, one thing, it has very beautiful skyline <laughs> with a tent over here. Ah, okay, That's, we have to keep it. And here it you has convinced a beautiful me. skyline <laughs> with a building. Does it so, have a campaign version? Because if it doesn't, I'm out. <laughs> it has a man with a hat. It's one of my favorite things in the game. No, but no, seriously. But this is a very long game, but it I is. just, I loved, and this feels like a game and it's just it like... It feels like a game. And this is just like because of the way it. the game is. Uh, but it's a game where you start in the beginning, you are basically, it's called Legacies because you're gonna yeah. be playing through a legacy of this person that you start as. Yeah. So you're gonna play through generations of the game. You start off scraping by with two coins, and even though it's exactly the same money, it feels so much when you're like, oh no, I'm gonna pay 400 money to do this action. And that is the thing, I, I enjoy that escalation. I enjoy it's the same thing with a huge long game, The Colonists, which has this feeling of, oh, you're getting somewhere. You're getting more stuff, you're building yourself up, and you build this legacy of this person. I enjoyed the interaction of the different characters, uh, even though sometimes it's bad that not one character is not in the game and you have a character that you are playing. Uh, but I enjoyed mostly like everything from this game. So, and I didn't get to play it. Like it might be, it might be a game where I play it once more and then like, okay, we can, oh, yeah. we can, we can, yeah. we can tell it. Yeah. I just, my experience and my thoughts of playing a game is feel is very good so oh, yeah. I, I want to experience that once more and maybe i'll be like oh i still really like it or i will be like nah so this is more kind of like a ha uh, like a soft keep yeah and it will go on the top of the pile when we in 2045 begin keep our call 2.0 yeah it's gonna take a long time but um yeah i i sometimes i feel like i have to like a game because it's uh 
big crunchy Euro game. Yeah. And I want to like big crunchy Euro games. But you can't like them all. Yeah, I can't like them all. And in this game, I can't really put the finger on what I didn't like, yeah. but it wasn't anything that I was just, oh, this is super cool, this and is awesome, is... this gives me the fun feelings, fun canon. It wasn't fun canon for me. No. Nope. Uh, and there's so many other games that oh, yeah. are fun canons, so then I wouldn't keep this. It's probably not the best game I've ever played, but I really enjoy my place of it, and I would I would be sad to let it go now and don't know if I really love it oh, or yeah. not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is the reason for me. So we got rid of two games, Yay! which is more than zero. So to you people who say you don't key kill any games, Look we at count this. two. We have so, kept these games, many games. These. So seven more games today. Uh, favorite and least favorite experience. Oh yeah, um, least favorite was definitely. I uh, no, I'm letting you say it first, and I'm probably gonna say the same thing. Okay. 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 I'll say say least favorite. Yeah. That is Le Havre, the board something. Yeah, it was boring. Um, favorite. I'm gonna go side because it was mm. so much better than I anticipated it to be. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with obsession because um, sometimes when people hype up games, yeah. um, they uh, I yeah. I try not to get like so super excited and hype it up for myself, but it's hard not to when it's Obsession. But Obsession was really fun, so I thought it really matched my expectations and a little above, and I was really happy with it. And worst experience for me is La Havre in Landbord. Yeah. So those are seven more games, only a gazillion more. Hopefully, um, gonna be some documentation uh, stats. Documentation! Stats in the comments yeah. from uh, awesome commenters. We are really grateful that you are all still here. Uh, sorry again about like the long break on the channel. We are so ready to go full steam ahead with more videos, reviews and games. Yeah. So that's, that's another video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.